this address on Mustang Drive is still is this a current address for you? Yes, sir. Do you live anywhere else? I'm everywhere. Actually. I live on the road mostly. Okay. I work. I'm a welder. Okay. I work different power plant, paper mills everywhere. Okay. I don't live in a motel, but that's my that's my house right there. <laughs> okay. What welding company do you work for? Um, right now I work for a company called OnSite. Okay, Just give me one second. I'm laid off right now. I go back to work on the 6. Okay. Is that routinely that you get laid off and then catch a job somewhere? Yes, sir. You like work on oil rigs or something like that? You said you're a welder. So paper, paper mills and power plants. So you pretty much you travel the country? Yes, sir. Okay. But Tallahassee is your home base? Yes, sir. Since you are travel on the road a lot, what, do you, what are your cell phone numbers or your cell phone number or how do I get a hold of you to follow up with this case? 850-509-4380. Are there any other numbers? No, what, number. what is that? Four but your dad or your mom, what are their numbers? Uh, five, seven. Cell phone? Yes, sir. both of them. They sell us. They my house. Right. Is there a primary home number or, or is that 421 the primary number? That's my home number, yes. Sir. Okay. And, and while you're on the road, is there a, a, a on site, do they have a, a cell phone that they provide you or do they have a hotel or is there something that they provide you for contact or mail or a P.O. box? Or? Mm -hmm. Okay. You say you work for on site welding? I think it's just called on site construction, maybe. I don't know. I only worked with them three or four weeks, maybe. You have a way of another phone number off the top of your head? No. Okay. I got, I got to do my cell phone. But it's, I don't even have the main guy's number. I just got okay. a guy that's my my foreman. I have his number. Mm -hmm. Is your cell phone on you? No, sir. It's in the truck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea why you're here? Yeah. So, um, I found out, I'm guessing why, Brandon Peters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the girl who braids my hair, exactly. she's braiding my son's hair. She, her daughter, and her daughter is a godchild to a girl that lives right next door to Brandy. And I'm guessing um, Brandy's, no, no, no. The girl braiding my hair, her daughter, is some girl that lives next door to Brandy is her god mom or something like that. So she said that Brandy's mom and them came over to the house and told them this morning. When I called her about getting my son's hat, she told me. Okay, what'd she tell you? That Brandy and the kids, someone killed them this morning. That's true. Mm -hmm. Second son I lost. Second son you lost? What happened to your first son, if I may ask? Um, he just didn't wake up one morning, 11 months old. The SIDS or? He had breathing problems. He was born premature. Mm -hmm. um, he was home doing fine. He was on the breathing machines and all that stuff. And one morning he just didn't wake up. Was that here in Tallahassee? Yes, sir. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, and I'm sorry for what happened today. Do you have any idea who would want to hurt these people? She, the um, girl Pint, the one who does my hair. She was saying somebody thought the, my son was with some other guy, and he, she said that the two girls, the kids, were killed. My son wasn't found in the house, and she said she think that he's with some guy who she's saying is his daddy, and something like that. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I don't know for sure. <coughs> is Dewan your son? No, Javante. Javante is he? Is he your son? Yes, sir. Okay. How old is Javante? Three. Okay. 
Javante is in the house. He was in the house. He in the house? I mean, he was in the house, found in the house. He's in the house. Yeah. And, he, and I'm sorry to tell you, but he has he has passed away. Yeah, that's, she told me that she told me that they found the girls and the boy wasn't in the house. They think that he's with his dad or some guy she's claiming was his dad or so. What, so so what when she the um, girl Pint who's doing my son's hair. Then she when I went back over there she said no the um they did find him in the house. So I don't know what Pint else she went said. Over there? Do you know Pint's real name? Uh. <laughs> you know how do I get a hold of her? Well she's she's the one who she's my son's she's breaking my son's hair. She's the her daughter is I don't know, her daughter is the girl who knows Brandy um godmother. And she knows I don't know, I guess but the, Brandy's morning. mom must have went over there this morning and told him the news so she called Pint and told her. And and you just happened to be there today and No, I called Pint to make an appointment to get my son's hair done. And, and she show up and, and she told me she told me on the phone. But she said that my son wasn't wasn't found there. He wasn't there. But when I got there, she said he was in the house. Okay. And Javante is your child? Yes, yes sir. Okay. It was some paternity issues, but legally he is my son. Yeah. He had my name. Okay. Tell me about these paternity issues that you have going on. Well, like like the girl Pike was saying, she think that he was with that other guy. Do you know that other guy's name? Um, Caleb. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all I know. That's what oh, Brandy used to tell me that that was my, you no, know, that he was Javante was uh, his son. Mm -hmm. Then she would come back and tell me that no, he's not. Like okay. a little mind game back and forth. So I went, I put in some, I put myself on child support. Then I went to get a paternity thing done. But they said I couldn't get one because I had to pay three, three, four hundred dollars, something like that, to get a paternity test done. I just didn't have the money to do it. So they just moved everything forward without me getting a paternity test. So I just kind of wouldn't work about it. Okay. So are you currently paying child support or are you on it? I'm on child support. I haven't paid it. You haven't paid it? No. And any reason why? Just I haven't had the money to pay. Okay. Because you're out of a job? No. Just bills backed up. I just haven't had time. To, haven't had the money to put put towards it. Okay. I got another kid in Orlando. I paid child support too. But I haven't paid it in a while. Just backed up on it. <laughs> okay. How many kids do you have? Um, let's see, two, three. Four, three now. Okay. Had five. All right, and different women. My two sons with my wife, and I had Javante with her, and I got a little girl in Orlando. Okay. How many vehicles do you have? Two. Three. I got a '63 Impala, Monte Carlo SS, and a, a Chevy truck. I got. All right. That's the only one I got registered. I ain't got the other ones. I'll tell you not for me. You have a '63 Impala. What color is it? Green. What else? The Monte Carlo SS. It's white. White Monte Carlo. Mm -hmm. And what else? That's it. About your wife. She got an expedition. Okay. A white expedition. Okay. What's your wife's name? Malika. Can you spell Malika for me? M A L I C A. Does she have your last name to girl? Yes. Sir. How long have you guys been married? Ten years. Been together thirteen years. Been married ten. You said she has a white expedition? Yes. Sir. Car is your mind, Carlos? What? White, he said. Mm -hmm. 
It's a green Impala, and you have that green chair. Green, green chair, chair. So, are, are you, do you know or do you not know if you're Javante's father? Like, for sure, do you suspect not, or you suspect, yeah, he's mine? I'm not sure. You're not sure? <laughs> but since he has your name, he's your son. Yes. Tell me about Brandy. What kind of person is she? Spunky. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's she's down to earth. She's real sweet. She's a cool person. Mm -hmm. How'd you guys meet? Um, at a gas station. She was walking at a gas station. I stopped and started talking to her. And How long ago? Four years ago. You just immediately started dating one another? or yeah. Did she know you were married? She had no problems with that. What about your wife, Malika? Does she know about? Yeah, eventually. <laughs> okay, eventually. <laughs> Do you mind elaborating? Tell me about all that. Um, in fact, I don't know. Nothing much to say. She caught me on the phone bill one day. Seeing my phone bill, seeing I was calling this number a lot. When did that happen? Okay. So, so, so she confronts you with a phone bill and says, hey, what's, who's this? What's this all about? Yeah, and you're talking on the phone, so if you're talking on one for an hour or two hours, this number has got to be somebody important. Yeah. So did she ever make the phone call, like call the number? Yeah. Oh yeah, they used to call each other all the time. Oh really? Malika and Brandy? Yeah. Yeah. That was like before the month they was born. Friends? Oh, no, no, no. But they're, they're squabbling. Yeah. Okay. She just would tell us, you know, stop messing with me and yada, yada, yada. Okay. When I, I left to go to Colorado, Colorado um, about two years ago, I think. No, it was about three years ago. It was right when Javante was six months when I got back. Yeah. Uh, it was somewhere around up when Javante was six months. I think it was when I left, he was six months. I went to Colorado, and that's when me and Brandy stopped talking. Why'd you guys stop talking? She texted my wife. Called her or something fat, something, something. And I asked her why she did that, talking about because it was funny. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm tired of you did it being disrespectful to my wife. I said, I don't think me and you mess around no Was it the last time you had contact with her? Well, that was the last time, yeah, until I got back to Tallahassee. Okay. And I, I, I talked to her. Shit, I was at her house Wednesday. This past Wednesday? Yeah. What's the day? Saturday. Saturday? Saturday? I think I was at her house Wednesday. Cause it was right she picked Devontae up. It was around 1.30ish. I got there and I left. She had to go pick the twins up at 2.50. So I left, it was right before that. That was Wednesday. May I ask what, what you're doing here? What was going on? Just seeing Devontae. Okay. Staying around. Me and her don't have no relationship no more than like that. I was just there seeing it. Okay. How much do you have to pay a month in a child support, if I may ask? Eight hundred some books to Brandy. Mm -hmm. yeah. The paperwork's the um, what you call it? Uh, I guess the paperwork. Just everything just got granted to start the child support. Mm -hmm. I think it's like eight hundred books a month. And, wh and when did the judge tell you you had to start paying? Well, I didn't have to go to court. They just put it in. Right, so is it like they automatically take it out of your check, or uh, or you actually have to write a check? I think I have to write a, have to write a check. Okay. They don't take that much check. Okay. Right. So you fall, you fall on tough times and can't make it? Yes. Okay. I'm, um, I start working on, I went to work on the 6th of December. It's a short job. But after that, my boss is telling me that we got you know, a bunch of work. Uh, mm -hmm. January, February, March, we'll be pretty booked. So. I failed to catch up on everything then. The main thing was my mortgage. Trying to get it straight. It was, it was going to work on that.
Are you behind on your mortgage? Yes. Okay. So between paying all that child support all over the place behind your mortgage, and you know, and money's pretty tight with you, huh? Yeah, it was kind of tight. Not too tight, but it's kind of tight. Okay. I'm not used to having as much as normal because the economy is so messed up. The work is not nothing like it used to, usually is. Right. Your wife ever con confront Brandy in person? No, they never met in person. They've never seen each other? She's seen her. Brandy's seen her. My wife. <coughs> I don't think she knows what Brandy looked like. Really Brandy know. knows what she looked like. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So you describe Brandy as being spunky. Yeah. When you were there this past couple of days ago with Javante, was any kind of confrontations, any problems? Mm -hmm. no, she was cool. She's cool. Like, what what was Brandy doing while you were playing with your son? Taking some food out to cook uh, late on in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. She sat on the sofa, on that big sofa. Me and Javante was on the love seat. Okay. Just playing, flipping them around, you know, just playing. Try and work something out with Brandy where you didn't have to go on to uh, child support. No, like I said, I put myself on child support. I so she never filed the paperwork for it. You didn't. No, I did it myself. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because I don't have to pay child support and let her know that it's over between me and you. And you know, we ain't got sleep together no more. I'm gonna pay child support and that's it. <laughs> okay. Before this past Wednesday, when was the last time you were at her house? It. How often would you visit? How often? Like on, on seven days, we get seven days in a week. How many days out of the week would you visit? Well, that was my first time going there in a while. Uh, I was working at Crystal River at one time. That was about a year ago. I used to go back like, every day because her brother was staying with her. I think his name's Spud. Her brother, Brandy, was been, Brandy's brother was staying with her? Yeah, he was. I don't think he's staying with her now. Okay. But it was when he was staying with her. I used to go over there all the time. How long ago was that? I said it might have been a year. Okay. Probably about a year ago. So, between today and let's go back a year from today, today is November the 19th, how often would you visit on a weekly basis? Not often. Not often at all? Count on your fingers, ten fingers, or more than ten fingers, or less than? I guess maybe 15 times. Not as much as I should have, I'll say. <laughs> Not all. <laughs> but Brandy never said you gotta pay up, you did it yourself. Yeah. Well, she used to tell me, you know. When you gonna start paying? <laughs> okay, so so she was expecting something yeah. out of you. Yeah, she was expecting. Me. Like I told her, I said, you know, okay, hard time. I'm gonna get straight when I start that work. Okay. She was understanding with it. She know what's she like. I said she's pretty cool. Down when, when you were working, how how may I ask how much you were paying her? I ain't paid her nothing in the last year, for sure. Okay. I'm better. Okay. Like yeah. when Javante was younger, he used to buy him clothes and give her money like that. But then when I put myself on child support, I don't know when it was. You can look on, you can probably look up and see when I put myself on child support. But I haven't paid her no child support since then. Cell phone? What's her number? It's five five six eight seven eight two. Does she know that you're here? Yep, I call her. I told her to pick the kids up because I had to come talk to you guys. Okay. Is she okay with this? Yes. Sir. Does she have any other means of contacting you? Is that is that the only phone she has? Yes. Sir. Where does she work at? At um, 
Florida State University. Doing what? Just an accountant. Is there a special school that she works for? Or just yeah, she's um, uh, the Maglev. As an accountant. Yeah. And she goes to school. Where? Close to. But she's majoring in. It's a cop. I guess I should have known that, right? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> she got a business administration degree, and she's going back to get her account to get a more money. Smart woman. Do you own any kind of firearms? No, so yeah. I got a um, 12 gauge single barrel. Any others? No. What about for, uh, your wife? No. Okay. When was the last time you spoke to Brandy? She sent me a text message Friday asking what I was doing. I didn't respond. She sent you a text. So she sent you a text message yesterday. Yeah. And you did not respond. first found out about Brandy being pregnant, how, how was that? It's cool. You were cool with it? Were you happy? Yeah. You had no issues? I was hoping to have a girl, but... <laughs> okay. Mm. I had two boys. We were looking to have a girl. But she wanted a boy. She already had two girls. Mm -hmm. There with her when she had the baby at the hospital and everything. Watched him come out and everything. Pretty special moment. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It's a miracle. Yeah. She had the C session, so it was like when he pulled him out and like just I just had to sit down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. When my last my last son was born. My wife had a C-section, had an emergency C-section. He was only one pound, 10 ounces. And that was, that was amazing. <laughs> it was that big. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing shot, the whole entire process. You know. Well, we're gonna do everything we can to figure out what happened. Because unfortunately, Javante is dead. And it wasn't at I wasn't at the hands of God. It was at the hands of a man or a woman. And uh, that's not supposed to happen. Man doesn't have the right to take another person's life. How was he killed? I don't know yet. I mean, this is going to be a long, drawn-out investigation process. It's not. It's not going to go away in two days, two months, or two weeks, you know, until we figure everything out. And they all it always stays open forever until someone's arrested for it. How do you feel? How are you feeling now? Uh, it hurt. I can do, but when he's, when he's, well, did you find it odd that Brandy texted you yesterday? Uh, she used to send me all kinds of text messages, little forwards and stuff like that. Daily? Not daily, but every night. Then. Like she'd see me at McDonald's in the mornings. I'm always bringing my son to school. 
She'll text me, good morning, or something like that. Yeah. I'll see you at McDonald's, something like that. She used to bring Javante to school. Um, he goes to, what's the name of it? It's right off of Orange Avenue by Nams. Mm-hmm. I forget the name of the school. He goes to a daycare right there. She used to pass that way to bring him. And I stopped at McDonald's every morning. I bring him straight to school. Just send me a text message to say good morning, so. Mm-hmm. Were you a victim of a violent crime recently? Yes, sir. What happened? I got a rub, shot in the stomach. You got shot in the stomach? Yes, sir. You had scars and all that stuff? Yes, sir. Can I see? Yeah. That right there. The cut? Yes, sir. Do you have any other injuries on you or anything like that? Hurt my leg at work the other day. I ain't nothing major. Slowing it down. Why'd you hurt your leg? Jumping out of the scissor lift. Was it cut or something like that? No, it's just swollen where I hit the flange. It's got a little knot on it. I mean, no cut or nothing. Do you, have any, do you have any other cuts or any injuries on your person whatsoever? You got a little cut right, right there. Right there. Mm-hmm. You got a little cut right there. That's crap. I did this in St. Pete. I was trying to get into the latest trunk. It's a burn. It's healing up. What's I think, that? I think this was a burn too. It's starting to heal up. What about this down your pinky right here? I'm talking about. That was a burn. It's starting to heal up. <coughs> but uh, other than that. Is, is, is that injury right there? Is that the reason why you couldn't pay for uh, child support or something like that? No. Well, it put me out of work for a while, but that's why I'm asking. Yeah, no. Right. I, I was just being damn lazy, pretty much. I could have been paying something, you know. I, I, I couldn't have paid the whole thing. I could have been paying something. Okay. All right. But, but I'm, my, my question, pretty much, was, is, I guess, because of injury, you couldn't pay for your mortgage and all this other stuff. Is that is that what's going on with yes, all that? Yes, sir. So wh- where did that happen at? That wasn't here in Tallahassee. I was in Mississippi. In Mississippi. <coughs> did they catch the guy? I don't know. I don't think so. I haven't heard anything from him. Okay. What? Well, wow. I stopped to ask for some directions. And got shot in the stomach. Yeah. He pulled me out of the truck. I was in that truck. He pulled me out of the truck. Took all my clothes off. And uh, shot you in the stomach. Well, he asked for my keys for the truck. I said, I ain't getting keys for the truck. I don't know where I'm at. I'm out of town. You got all my money, it was in my pockets, because my wallet, I kept it in the center thing, so I like sit on it. Um, I gave him all my money, he had my clothes, and he said, you gonna give me the keys, y'all, you got it? So I throw the keys off to the side, and when he looked at it, I jumped at him and hit him. And when I jumped at him, he ran. And when he ran, I started cursing him out. Pussy this and that, yada, 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 when I catch you, this and that. And he turned around and just started, he just started, he, he didn't even look, he just started shooting and running. <laughs> I jumped on I jumped around the bumper front bumper of my truck. I noticed I got hit. Got caught. The doctor said I'm um, I gotta be God got to be watching over me. Hmm. So it was a forty five. Oh my gosh. Didn't didn't mess anything up. Didn't like my he's he's he was expecting my intestines to be all tore up, so that's why he cut me from here to here. They found a bullet down here somewhere. Hmm. They took they removed the bullet? Yes sir. Do you know where in the Mississippi you were shot? Yeah, um, um, Long Beach. I'm assuming there's a Long Beach Police Department in Mississippi. Yep. How does your wife feel about you having all these children? If I may ask a personal question. Yeah, she. She don't like it, but you know, like I tell her, it's already here. The baby's here. It's not their fault. It's my fault. I slept with another woman and got her pregnant. So you can't be mad at my kids. So she accepts them. She accepts them. Yeah. I mean, Christmas presents, all that stuff. Was she in the hospital when uh, the children were born? All that stuff. Right. Or? No. <laughs> Okay, so you don't accept them that much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Like I said, I mean, I don't know. You said she accepts them. I mean, you know. Uh, she didn't accept them that much. <laughs> okay. All right. But she realizes that right. you had, there there are other children out there. Like I said, I can, 
I used to say I, I can afford to pay for them, you know. I want to have more kids. Mm -hmm. I want some more girls. Mm -hmm. I work hard for a living. I want something to show for it. I want somebody to. I want to you know. May I ask, what does a welder make? Like, uh, it, it, depends, it, it depends on what company you're working with. Right now, I make $24 an hour. Okay. And we work 12 hours a day. Well, lately, we've been working 10 hours a day. But normally, we'll work 12 hours a day. And everything after eight be time and a half. And they pay you travel there and travel back. They give you per diem a hundred dollars a day. This company here a hundred dollars a day. The last company I worked with was on fifty bucks a day mm -hmm. and twenty one hour. So it depends on who you work with. I work with one company making twenty eight an hour, hundred a day. Average yearly, what would you make? Fifty-five, sixty, something like that. About this year. This year, I don't really know. Now. This year, this year, I work at AMAC. I don't remember who all I worked with. <coughs> AMAC, I work at on site. I work with Zachary. Um, Thirty. Probably made about forty grand, maybe better. Mortgages, five kids, and all that stuff. Four kids, and all that. That's My pretty, wife pretty, pretty tight. Decent. Right. Tell me about Brandy's lifestyle. I don't know. I ain't never really been in it lately. <laughs> I don't know what she was up to, or what kind of she she texts was dealing all with. the time. So yeah, she sent me forwards, with them crazy text messages. Mm -hmm. Man with a man having sex with a midget in the sink, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> um, like I said, I don't know. I don't know what kind of people she's been dealing with lately. Um, I really don't know who she's been talking to. So I don't know. You were over there on Wednesday. Did you share anything about like what's going on with her? problems she's having or anything like that? She ain't offered me in an accident. So she didn't really talk to you about anything? Okay. She's asking me what else to get the bunch of Christmas, but I don't think she really said it towards me. Was she on the phone or anything while you were there? I think she was. Could you, <coughs> I mean not that you were listening to conversation, but could you tell if it was just normal conversation or if it was heated or friendly or anything like that? She was a horse. She wasn't yelling at She had a raised horse. So basically, you don't know if she's had any issues with any anybody recently. Awesome. Would that be something that she would share with you? Or, or no, no, I doubt it. <coughs> who were her? Who were the people that she usually hangs out with? I mean, her closest friends. Girls that she hangs out with, you don't know who she hangs out with at all. Even when you were, when you were around her more. Uh, when me and her was together, she had a girl named Deanna uh -huh. that she used to deal with. But she stayed in Havana somewhere. She used to talk to her on the phone. They never went anywhere together. But mostly, I guess she hung out with her sisters. She got two sisters: one Teresa and I don't know what the other name. I can't think of her name right now. But. Uh, Monica. Monica and Teresa. I know I, Teresa. I know I know Teresa. Her and Teresa used to go to the club and they used to hang out and all that kind of stuff. I never known her to go out with any other female than Teresa. How does her family feel about you? I don't know, we've been pretty cool. Every time I'm around. Okay. I hadn't seen them in a while. And I was debating if I should call her mama and Show my sympathy or I don't know if she'll cuss me at man, she ain't talked to me in a while, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Right. So they they accept you? Yeah. Because I'm assuming because you the mutual child you have together. Yeah, my mom lives out in chairs. 
Um, at one time, I don't know, someone else was standing out there. I oh, had my son. I used to go out there all the time and see him. Back. That was back when me and her was dating. Mm -hmm. Me and her stopped dating. We didn't see each other all that much. I see Javon sporadically when I'm in town or something like that. Nothing really scheduled or, you know, nothing like that. Have you ever hit Franny before? No, sir. Actually, um, we got into a conversation one time. I didn't hit it, though. I broke the window on the car. Um, that was it. time when we were standing the projects, she used to sell drugs a little bit. Me and her both did. I don't know if she still was. I don't know if she was working. She told me she was working actually, but she said she wasn't going to tell me where. She was going to what? She wasn't going to tell me where. Okay. So I don't know what she was working at. I don't know if somebody she worked with she knew, her, uh, knew what she do. Uh, I don't know. So she used to sell drugs? Yeah. And what, where were you all staying at? Hope Street. What apartment? 10B. So you said a 25, 25, 2502? I don't remember the address, but no, it was 210B. Upstairs apartment. Mm -hmm. Coming from Orange Avenue, the first entrance. The first entrance, then the first entrance. The if business. I may ask, how do y'all re-up? How do y'all re get your supply? Well, I don't know. She know. She know all the people. She actually got me started. <laughs> okay. Amazingly. Right. And because I'm just curious, it's possible the person that she she buys drugs did this. Is that a possibility? You think? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, like, like I say, she ain't never. I can't imagine. She never said somebody messing with me or. She ain't got no beef with nobody. She never said anything to me. So. What do you think should happen to the person who did this? They need to go to jail. Yeah. If we could turn the clock back 24, 36 hours, would you do anything differently? What would you do? What people sign up? Yeah. I don't know.
arrested for selling drugs or anything like that? So. Well, you okay? Well, you okay? Well, you just push on that, on that uh, thing. I'm like, I'll make sure that your guts aren't going to pop out. I just my belly button's still a little tender. Can't really make no big strains or nothing, but okay. I'm, I'm healed up for the most part, I guess. Try to run the stairs too quick. What kind of drugs were y'all selling? Crack. Were y'all cooking it there? No. Uh -huh. Just get already done. So, so pretty much she was getting the product and y'all would sell it and she paid him whoever back for a product and y'all would keep some of it and that was it. Uh, she just go buy like a little fifty dollars worth and break it up in the twenties and dimes like that. Right, so so she, like so she would buy like the cookie or whatever or, or the brick and yeah, it's like a fifty dollar piece. So. Mm -hmm. Tour. I've been thinking of getting one since I got shot. What kind of routine are you getting? Uh, a 9 millimeter or a 44 Glock, something like that. Mm -hmm. you, were, you said you were over there Wednesday, right? Yes. Sir. About what time? About 1.30. 1.30 in the afternoon? Yes. Sir. For about how long? I know she had to pick the kids up 250. When I when I was leaving, the mailman was just passing. Not finna give her mail, but on the other side of the street going that way. He just passed in front of the house when I was driving off. Okay. What time that is. I know it couldn't have been 250. She said she had to pick them up at 250. Okay, so you're maybe there in an hour then? Probably. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> so yesterday, you said you don't work, right? Not right now. Okay. So what do you usually do during the day? Mess my cars. I'm trying to restore a car. Okay. Two of them actually. All right. So, like, say, yesterday, Friday. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, just take me through your day. You get up. How? What time about you get up in the morning? Um, seven. Then I gotta bring the kids to school now. Okay. So, this just yesterday, Friday. Did you take the kids to school? So what time would that have been? Um, I left home what seven? No, seven. Probably seven thirty, seven forty-five. I got a son goes to Woodville Elementary. Okay. And yeah. I got another son goes to Cobb Elementary. I mean, middle school. Cobb middle school. Okay. I brought. I dropped him off at Woodville. Went to the South Side McDonald's. Dropped him off at Cobb, went to McDonald's on Magnolia, uh -huh. and went home. Okay, so you, after you dropped your son off at Cobb, you went to McDonald's? Yeah. On Magnolia? Yeah. Okay. Then you went home? Yeah. You have any idea what time that was around? Then you went, you went home? Before 10 o'clock, because I was still listening to um, Steve Harper morning show. Okay. It'd go off at 10. Alright. So you get back between 9 and 30, 10. Then what did you do at home? Mm -hmm. I went outside and started taking my fenders and doors off the car. Okay. So I'm trying to do an off frame restoration of okay. my car. So you're working on your car yeah. from 10 something to what, like in the afternoon? You have to pick your kids up too? or? No, my wife picks one. Okay. So. <coughs> When does your wife usually get home? Five, five, fifteen, twenty, something like that. Okay. Uh, were you home until then? Until she got home? Okay. Uh, okay. And what about after she came home? Did you stay at the house the rest of the night? Or? Yes. You did? Okay. And she texted you on Friday from, you remember what time that was when it was when you were working on your car? It was about yeah. 1.20. Okay. 2.20. Okay. 
It was 720. I think it was 1 or 220. Okay. I'll say 120 or 220. Doesn't really make any difference. I didn't. Really. I'll, just, I'll just say that. Okay. So you were there until your wife came home at 515, and then you guys didn't go out for dinner or anything. You stayed there. Okay. And you were there through the night. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this morning, Saturday, you don't have to get up to get the kids to school. Do you still get up that early? No. <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh, what time do you think you got up this morning? About 8. 8 o'clock probably. Okay. Probably did wake up 7, 30, 8 o'clock. So I went to Walmart. Um, and what should we call it? Um, Carbondale. Yesterday, Friday night, you said you were home until, until you went to bed. What, about what time you think you went to bed? You go to you step late or get a better I fell asleep around ten or so. Okay. What was I watching? I think I was watching a um, movie I had on the um, seven years on the bed. Okay. I don't, I don't know what time it was. I went to sleep, but it was on the part where you just broke out of the prison camp. So that thing I remember. Um, your wife go to bed about the same time, or she go to bed earlier than you, or later? Or? I don't know what time she went to bed. Okay. You don't know if she was asleep before or after you? No. Okay. Did you sleep in the bed, or are you in the family room watching TV? Or? On the sofa. Okay. Was she out there too, or was she in the bedroom? Um, she was in the bedroom. Okay. No, I woke up this morning, the TV was off. Oh, okay, so she might have to turn the TV off. So when you got up this morning, was she gone or was she still there? Or? No, she was still. Okay. Um, all right. So after um, Walmart, Crawfordville, what did you do after that? Went to my buddy Adam house that I work with. Okay. My dad's shooting bow and arrow. Okay. Helping him run a cable for his dog. Uh, runner. Do you have any idea when you were at his house? Just, I mean, just guessing the time frame. Uh, I left Walmart. I went out that way. Uh, when I left there, I got home. It was about five o'clock, maybe. Whenever I did get home, I called the girl Paint to find if I get my son half braided. And what time of day was that? Sorry. What time of day was that when you called Pint? Um, I don't know, probably about 6, maybe 5, 30, 6 o'clock, whenever I got home, whatever time it was I got home. Does uh, Adam live out in Crawfordville too? Yes, sir. he stayed at, um, what's it called, Soft Shop Edge. Soft Shop Edge. Okay. okay. Alright, so you called between 5 and 6, called this, uh, called Pint. Yes, sir. And then... What did she did she say y'all could come on over? Or? Yeah, matter of fact, I remember I was supposed to be there at five thirty. Okay. To get that done. So I must have got home around uh, four thirty. I wanna okay. give myself out. Okay. I didn't get to the house till like five forty. Okay. Do you normally take your son to get his hair done? Normally my wife will do it. Or or I'll bring him to do it. Or she'll bring him to do it. For so she, she just it? yeah. She got her nails done so she couldn't do it. So bring him. So what time did you take your son to, you said the appointment? About 5.40. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then you were, were you were there with him since five, that 5.40? Yes, sir. Okay. When, when we pulled up and talked to you, that's where you were since 5.40? Do you know what Adam's last name is? Um, Thornton. Can you work with him? Or? Yes, sir. Okay. He does the same thing you do? Yes, sir. Okay. Would you have a number for him on your phone, probably? Yes, sir. <coughs> you said you... Can you help him run cable or something like that himself? Can run a 
dog lying for his dog. He just got a new dog. Okay. And shoot the boy now. Okay. Show me how to shoot the boy now. You up this morning and said, Hey, dude, can you help me run a dog line or is something pre planned? No, pre planned. We was talking about it on the way home yesterday or no, no. we'll come back from work the other day. We just got back from St. Pete. Okay, 
So when did you get back from St. Pete? Uh, Monday. 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 So when you said you were unemployed, you've only been unemployed for four days. Yeah. Okay. I went down to St. Pete and worked three and a half days. Before that, I was in Atlanta. Two and a half days, or three days. I worked three days in Atlanta. Before that, I was home for a while. Okay. The job varies. If I were to have the ability to talk to your friends, family, your wife, and all that stuff, what kind of guy would they say you are? Tell me you are. Uh, cool, laid back, I guess. Okay. I got temper sometimes. You do have temper? Yeah. Ever take it out on them before? Uh, my wife gets in arguments every now and then, but I haven't recently, haven't, haven't had one in a while. Ever hit her before? No, uh, I didn't hit her. I grabbed her and I think I pushed her one time and Okay. What set you off? I don't even remember what we was arguing about. The police came out there and it was a big damn cool rock. Say again? So it was a big cool rock. <laughs> police come out. It really wasn't nothing, we just you know, had a little altercation. How many times did cops down to your house? Once. Just once? Yeah. Been there four years. Okay, what about with Brandy? How many times did cops been out to your house? That time I broke the window, the cops came over there. Any other time? No. What about with any, any, other, any other incidents, whatever? I got some battery charges on my record. Local or some local stuff. What about in throughout the United States? Any other issues? No. Um, so pretty much all of your when you when you blow up, I have a temper problem. It's locally here. No, it's fine. I don't know. I'm not with you, dude. I'm riding the truck with you. Um. You have no idea who would want to hurt Brandy. And she had, and you were there just a couple of days ago, and she hasn't expressed that she was in any form of danger whatsoever. I have no idea why someone would kill her and her children.
Must have about because I seen a drink or anything, man. Interior. Page. Page level. Your wife doesn't like Brandy, does she? She doesn't like me that much, no. So I don't know why they do my life. Unless she wouldn't kill it. Okay. I never said that. <laughs> yeah. This is a tragedy. This is a real tragedy, and the communities have a lot of questions and a lot of concern about what's going on with this case. Yeah, the, the pressure has been turned up. Yeah, she stays in a pretty nice neighborhood, same way. Yeah. Can't figure out why. Why would someone want to kill children? Do you have any idea why someone would want to do that? Yeah, I understand. It's one thing, you know, you're pissed off at somebody for something, you know, but children. Did a prayer for when I first heard it. I know it's gonna be hard on the family. I know how it is to lose somebody like that. My mama called me today. Told me one of my cousins got shot and killed last night. Really? In Louisiana. So y'all heading out to Louisiana? Um, I don't know when. They just got killed last night. I guess we're gonna find out when the funeral or whatever. Are you going to go to Javante's funeral? Yeah. Are you going to make the arrangements? I don't know. I'll talk to her mom.
not much to it, but it's love. <laughs> machines are not exactly easy to take apart and put together. Yeah. But you've done it a couple times. Yeah, I've been doing it since 98. Okay. Guess the bills paid, right? Yeah. And how old are you? 32. Okay, so you've been doing it since like your early 20s. 18, 19. Mm. That's good. So you didn't go to college or anything like that, so you knew right away this is what I wanted to do? No, I was just doing it to make some money until I figured out what I wanted to do. <laughs> You ever go to the military? Nope. I tried. What happened? They said I had some too many batteries on my record. I couldn't get in. So as a juvenile, you, you got in a lot of fights? No. As an adult? Yeah. How many fights have you been into? Well, actually, it wasn't fights. Honestly, I know you probably won't believe this. I'm sure you hear this all the time. But yeah, I, I, check this out. Check this out. Honestly, all of the battery charges on my record, I didn't do any of them. Honestly. <laughs> Well, then how did you get the record? Being stupid. I should have shut my mouth when I should have shut my mouth. Uh, walked away. Uh, uh, the first charge I think I ever got was about a guy at a junior food store. Right around the corner from my mom's house. I brought a cupcake today. Tomorrow I bring it back because it's outdated and it's old. He told me he didn't sell it to me. I'm like, it was you. You know, he said, the store don't sell these. I said, you, you was working yesterday. You sold it to me. I don't know where you get this cupcake from. You need to get out of here with that BS. Mm -hmm. Throw it at me. So, I lost my temper. <laughs> you punched him? No, I didn't touch him. I cursed him out. I was fussing. And he told me he's going to get my tag and I'm going to call the police. I said, you can do whatever you want to do. It's America. It's a free country. Call the police. I'll be right here. So he went and get ready to come outside. I was already, I was leaving getting in my truck. And he was like, I'm, I was ahead of car by then. I'm gonna get your tag and I'm gonna call the police, yada yada yada. I'm like, do whatever you want to do, I don't care. So I got ready to get in my car. He walked out the door. When he walked out the door, I jumped at him. When I jumped at him, he picked the broomstick up. Like he was gonna hit me with the broom. So I walked up to him. I said, What you gonna do? You gonna hit me with it? What you gonna do? He got ready to hit me with the broom. I took it out of his hand and I act like I was gonna hit him with it and I throw it down. I said, You ain't even worth beating up or something something I told him. I don't remember it was a while ago. But that was it. I jumped at him, didn't touch him. Another lady, a clerk, I guess thinks she just got off the bus, I heard, or something. She was coming to work, and he said, and she said that I pushed him, or I hit him, or something. And that was a battery charge. I think it was reduced down to some kind of misdemeanor. I plead out so that I could go to um, the military. I signed up for the military, getting ready to go. And I had another girlfriend, me and her was, I was bringing her home from work. We stopped at a red light. I was in my sister's. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Can I take this real quick? Hello? Got me, and we 
school, we I picked this girl up from work and bringing her home. And my sister's Durango. We pulled up to this red light. I think it was Bruno and I remember that street. But it was right there around uh, Fourth Avenue area, somewhere around there. Pulled up to the red light. A lady in front of me reading the paper or something. She got her head down. The light turned green. She's still sitting there. I blow the horn. She looks up. Start cursing me out in the mirror. Put her head back down. <laughs> I pulled up next to her. I said, hey, you don't know how to drive that car. You can get off the effing road, yada, 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 yada. And she's like, you don't know who you're talking to, this and that. And she jumps out the car, reaches through my passenger side, and tried to hit me. Mind you, I did swing at her, get her hand, get out, get out my truck. But I didn't touch her because the truck was too big. I couldn't reach. She walked from my passenger side around to the back. And the girl was like, just go, just go, just go. All right, so I pulled off. I get a phone call saying I bumped my car into the back of somebody's car. When she got out to see the damage, I hit her with a closed fist and drove off. Mind you, the lady was pregnant. I didn't even know she was pregnant because I seen her from the passenger side of the car. She wasn't tall. I didn't know she was pregnant. <laughs> so I got a battery of hitting a pregnant woman or something. Mm -hmm. So they dropped that down to some misdemeanor so I can get in the military. But... I lied on my police report and said the girl that was in the car with me, my girlfriend, I said it wasn't her, it was another female, a friend of mine that my wife knew. Oh, because you were trying to cover her up. Okay. And when I get to the police station and do the police report, I told the guy the truth. I said, well, actually, this girl wasn't in the car with me. This is the girl that was in the car. And he gave me a damn perjury. You got a perjury charge? For that. How many here? Yeah. <laughs> he gave me a perjury because I told him this now this girl really wasn't in the car with me. This is the girl that was in the car with me. Okay. Let me tell you, let me check this out. Let me see. Me and me and some of my buddies, I was I was I think sixth, seventh grade. I think we um was that then? No, it wasn't. That's when I was working at the gas station. I brought this um I brought some CDs from a guy. The CDs were stolen. I didn't know they were stolen. He sold me a camcorder, a brand new camcorder, 40 bucks. I think I was like 17, 16 or 17. I was working at the Dixie, right on the south side, across from McDonald's. It used to be the Dixie gas station. I was the gas attendant. Mm -hmm. Alright, the guy coming there sold me a camcorder, 40 bucks, brand new. He said he was using his credit card to buy stuff and sell cash. I knew he was a crackhead. But, so I was just buying stuff. <laughs> Some of the camcorder, got it. He come back with a box of CDs. I brought the CDs from him and gave him, I think, 10 or 20 bucks. I took the CDs, went through them, nothing I wanted to hear. The rest of them I brought to Vine Fever. Come to find out the CDs were stolen. All right, well, I told the people where I got them from. I told them I didn't know they, I didn't know they were stolen. I said I did get the camcorder from him. He told me it wasn't stolen. I didn't think the CDs, I honestly, I honestly didn't think they were stolen. Uh, they ran the camcorder, it wasn't stolen. CDs, they were stolen. So I got a deal on that stolen property from selling CDs to Vine Fever. I think they reduced it down to a petty theft because that's a misdemeanor. All right. They reduced it down to a petty theft. So now if you look at my record, I got a deal on stolen property, petty theft. It looked like I had done all kind of junk. Mm -hmm. And then the battery charges I got that was reduced down to misdemeanors, it'll show a battery, something, and then another battery under it. So it looked like I got a bunch of junk on record, but it really wasn't much. Now I went to jail, I had to do weekends for the dealing and stolen property. And I did community service, I think. I did, I think, 52 weekends, I think. All right, my last weekend, it wasn't my last weekend. It was like the last couple of weekends was my prom, high school prom. The judge told me I can have the weekend for my prom, I can have it off and go to my prom. All right, I went to my prom. Came back the following weekend, they gave me an escape charge. Cause I didn't show I didn't show up the weekend prior to it. I'm like, well the judge said, well, is it in writing? <laughs> I don't know it's supposed to be in writing. Well but damn seventeen. <laughs> so they gave me an escape charge. So I got that on my record. What did you what'd you get out of that? I mean, after oh, I had to finish my um weekend straight. It wasn't like six or seven days. Okay. And as long as I've been in jail. <laughs> now that's that's my whole rap sheet. Now mind you, 
The only thing I actually done, I did buy those CDs and sell them to Final Fever. Mm -hmm. All the stuff I didn't, I didn't hit nobody, didn't touch them. But I got a battery charge for record for it. I hear you. Which just hits and we lose it. That's what I tell my sons. Stay on top of them. It's easy to make a mistake that'll follow you the rest of your life. Okay. Whatever you do today, you'll see it 10 years from now. I could have had a job at the post office. My father in law, he, he retired from the post office. He had me to two. I had to go into my second interview. And they wouldn't hire me because of some stuff on my record. The battery charges. Pretty upset about that, aren't you? <laughs> Still are talking about it. Yeah, I say just that's why I tell them all the time. Hey, stuff that you think is gonna blow over your shoulder, you know, it's, don't have to worry about it. You gonna have to worry about it. Speak up. It's, it. Yeah, it's consequences for every action you make. Yes, there is. What do you think would go through someone's head who wants to kill people, though? You think you think they, it could have been just you know, hey, the switch was just it, and what do you think? It, the devil let one loose last night. I can't imagine why somebody would, like you say, want to kill her and the kids. I can't either. Been doing this job a long time, and I have to say, this is the worst thing I've ever worked. The worst. I've been a cop for 18 years. I've seen a lot of shit. This is the worst. have its own little chapter in my head. Carry it with me the rest of my life. You got kids? Of course I do. That's why I can't fathom someone to kill kids. I mean, adults, I, mean, I, mean, I can't really fathom anyone going to kill anybody, really, to be honest with you, but kids. future. So that's why we're, I mean, that's why we're here. We're trying to figure out, you know, to who, what, when, where, why about Brandy. You know, that's why you're sitting here right now, trying to give some insight in who she was, what she was. You're one of the last people she saw. I mean, someone must have really wanted to hate her, hurt her, to uh, do this. Vengeance, you know. But you know, we all have that. Uh, they say every 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 human is capable of killing. It just depends on what it is. Yeah. You know, what that trigger what mechanism. Yeah. You know, what that trigger mechanism is. Sometimes people do things they don't really mean to do, but you can't change the future. You can't go back. can't do anything. You know, just like I asked you that question, if you could turn the clock back 24, 36 hours, you said I'd pick up my son. You know? Can't change, un undo that now, so now we gotta go forward. Figure out. Like I said, you know, I mean, if I gotta look for a real, real evil person, you think something like that, or you... You know, you say, what does a really evil person look like? You know? But the really reality is, it looks like you and I. We're all capable. Just made a right trigger mechanism. What would do it? I don't know. We'll get to the bottom.
buy this one. Jilted lovers, do you know anything about any of the other guys that she may be seeing? It's her name. Or uh, the person I ever knew of was the guy, Kalo. That's right. Kalo's locked up. We verify he's locked up. So, hey, Kalo. Spunky about her. You said she's just spunky. What was so spunky about her? I don't know. She, she's real. I don't know. I guess she was a go getter. You know, couldn't really hold her back. She wanted to do something. She was. She'll do it. She had good determination about it. 
she had a, she was a survivor, you know, she, you know, I don't know how to explain it, she just, you know. What were your favorite things about her? Sex. Okay. <laughs> Other than that, what, you have a good conversation with her, she was fun to be around, good loving mother. Yeah, she was a real good mother. Enjoy hanging out with her. Yeah, you'll get along pretty good. Were you working? I, only um, altercation with her was whenever my wife would call and she'd pick the phone up or something like that. I'm sure those are some trying times. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, you know. I'm surprised your wife didn't leave you. It's come real close. So what? 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 What, what makes your wife hang on? God. Just faith. Yeah. Faith that you will change or faith that that I will change and start doing right. How long you, how long have you dated your wife? Thirteen years. Like three years. We've been married ten. Okay, so like you weren't like high school sweethearts and all that stuff. Yeah. Where'd you meet her at? Gas station? Chick fil A. Chick fil A. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. And you just hit it off from there. And you have two children again. In between that, then you met another woman, and you have a daughter in Orlando. She's eight. How how how's that relationship with that woman? Good. Good because you're not around. Oh no, we talked. Like I talked to her a little while ago. Today? Yeah. About a couple hours ago. Just see how she was doing. Asked her about. I got a parade coming up on the fourth of December, and my baby wants me to drive her through the parade. She, she just won this pageant. Oh, okay, and cool. I think that's, it has something to do with that pageant or whatever. She got a spot in the parade. Mm -hmm. I was calling her asking if she deserved a car and all that junk. Got to be a convertible car. Mm -hmm. May I ask who the other woman is? Her name's Tamika. Tamika what? Hawkins. So pretty much, you are, n you're not faithful, but you're not leaving your wife. And do all these women know this? Yeah. Going into it, hey, right? look, I'm married. This is just fun. Yeah. All right. Where does Tamika live? Orlando. Do you know an address? Yeah. Stand out some uh, springs actually. What's your daughter's name? Janae. Can you spell that? J-A-N-A-E. Hawkins? I don't guess I'm Hawkins. And she's eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you leave here, would you mind giving me your phone numbers? all this. I'd like to catch the person who killed Brandy and your son. But I'm going to need some help with this. We have theories, but theories have to be proven. We can't, can't just say it. They did it. We need to have that, the physical evidence, the witnesses, information, all that stuff. So there's gonna be a whole lot of people we're gonna talk to. That's why we're asking, you know, is there anyone we need to talk to? Someone can give, you know, just. I would in her life. I don't know. You know I honestly don't know who else she's been hanging with or talking to and all that kind of junk. Okay. And the last time you were there was on Wednesday. You were not 
there last night. We're not there on Thursday night. Like I said, I need to step out. You know, you're here voluntarily. You, know, you are a free man. So you I want to help you as much as possible. As much as I want to be here all night, if I have to be. Well, as sir, I can help as much as I can help. Well, right now, you know, it, there's. I, I need to know all the, everything you know. If, if you've told me everything, like I said, you're free. Just as long as I can make, I can make like the phone numbers. So. Yeah, get those numbers. But as long as I can get a hold of you with these other phone up, these other uh, telephone numbers, you know, I'll let you know what's going on. Like I said, I don't know how Javante died. I'll find out tomorrow. And uh, we'll go from there. You know, maybe you'll help me out and put some feelers out on the street. Let me know what's going on. I almost pissed off at her. Pissed off enough to kill her. And the kids. That was wrong. That was very wrong. One thing, you know, I got something with somebody, but. Kids.
shirt just so I can make sure you have no injuries or anything like that on your person that I need to be concerned about. And like I said, you don't have to do that. How'd you get this little scratch right there? She has a scratch right here. You know, how'd you get all that? I believe that's today. I've done that today. I've done this today too. I was digging in the bush getting Adderall. Mm -hmm. This scratch right here. I don't know how I got that. You might scratches take everywhere, some, man. You might <laughs> I just take some pictures? Um, no, I don't mind. But okay. Is this going to be like used against me or something? Well, <laughs> like I said, we're, 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 we're doing an investigation. I don't know. But like I said, I was going to ask you if you would mind giving me some DNA as well. And, and what is it? Just a swap, you Q tip swap around your mouth. You you actually pull it out and you do it and stick it back in there. Yeah, or, yeah. or I'll do it, just make sure it gets done right. And, but you'll sign the evidence data. Nothing's done here maliciously whatsoever. The ultimate thing what we want to do is solve this crime, right? And we want to solve. And when we want to, we want we want to to, to, to do everything right. And prove it. Do you have a I think a camera. Things, things like this are gonna. Basically, just to check mark off the list. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. What do you say you want to do? Don't even sign it. Yeah, he's gonna read that form. He's gotta fill it out and read it to you and have you sign it. I don't know what he wants to go get. <coughs> Shoot it with those foam things or something. Is that? Yep. Is it like a compound bow or something? Is it one with like this few different yep. strings on it? Yeah. It got like, I think you said it was 70 pounds of torque or something. Yeah. Cool. Was he hunt or something? Yeah. That's the old fashioned way, that's for sure. Uh, so my wife wanted to. I've been trying to learn how to shoot the bow. Yeah. So I wanted to get us some deer meat for Thanksgiving. That'd be good. She said she ain't gonna eat it. That's good stuff. Just don't tell her where it is. That's what she said she ain't gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. It's lean too. I had a couple times. Every time I had it, it was tough. Oh uh, really? I figured they just did not cook they it. They can up. make it. I mean, they can, you can you can have them make a sausage out of it. All kinds of stuff. It's good. I like it. I said I like it because it's kind of like turkey. It doesn't. That have a lot of fat on it. Ugh. Yeah, man, I stay scored up. So. <laughs> Everywhere. Comes with the job, I guess. So when they got the bullet, was it like right underneath your skin or was it deep down in you? It was down here somewhere, he said. Really? Well, he said he'd never seen that like it. You know, didn't hit anything, I lived, didn't hurt anything on the inside. That's pretty wild. Didn't come out the back. He How said, far no. away was he when he shot at you? Was he pretty far? He wasn't too far. He was probably about two or three of my truck's length. Really? Wow. Hmm. The doctor said I was supposed to have a hole. The hole was about this big. Yeah. It closed up a lot. He said I was supposed to have a hole about that big. 
coming out my back. Yeah. That was the entry right there? Mm-hmm. Wow. It didn't come out, though. Just He said he don't know if he hit a hit rim, rim or, or something. Or just sit down. Like huh. Yeah, ricochet off your rooms. It didn't break your rim. Huh. My cell phone's dead. I didn't know where I was at. I yeah. ended up driving myself to the hospital. I put in my GPS. Oh, really? Drove yeah. myself to the hospital, walked on in there and said, hey, I got shot, robbed and shot. Jeez. <laughs> the lady was like, you got what? <laughs> huh. Imagine they see all kinds of things in the emergency room. Brandy's family tried to call you or anything to let you know what's going on? I don't know if anybody had my number. Uh, I know she got my number. Gotcha. So I guess they'll probably go through the phone and call everybody. said when we catch this person whatever you know he may be pointing a finger this guy did that guy did it whatever you know as long as you're cooperating with me you're helping me out whatever we can say hey no that ain't the way it happened type of thing you know just just bear with me a couple more minutes all right you're going to be dealing with me for a while until i can figure out what happened to your child today's the 20th is today i'm going to say it's been the 19th all day I don't even know what day I'm on. Yeah, today is November 20, 2010. You are Henry Segura. Junior. Junior. Says I, Henry Segura Jr., having been informed of my constitutional right not to have a search made of the above-mentioned person, 
without a search warrant and my right to refuse to consent to such a search be right authorized be investigator Mark Lewis that's me and investigator Phil Hines Tim. officers of the Tallahassee Police Department or their designee to search the above mentioned person and to seize any swabbing that's what we're going to do which they may desire this written permission is being given to the above named officers voluntarily and without threats or promises of any kind. How long have you had your hair done like that? Uh, about two, two weeks. Okay, maybe three. Okay. How is it usually done? But oh, you just have it redone. No? Huh? You just have it redone? Yeah. It's, it's always braided. Not always. Normally I have it. I wear it out. Like an afro. Uh, I don't have braided. I got you. Mm -hmm. You know, my case number off the top of your head. you to do is over the tape and the red part on both sides I want you to initial it and put today's date as well. That way we both verify that no one's messing with that okay? And just make sure you get it onto the envelope as well.
some scratches there. Yeah, we got real red, red. Right? Get, get some right here. These are from today. Yes, sir. appreciate this. I'm not saying anything you did or anything like that, but you know, I want to exclude you.
last year in the Leon County Courthouse, courtroom 3G, where the Henry Segura trial occurred, is over there.